what's going on people before I start again I would like for you guys to subscribe to this channel I would like for you to subscribe to me on Twitter fearless J 1111 or fearless J 2008 follow me on Instagram I am fearless J 1111 and feel free to click on the donation button in the description box I also would like to thank those that made a donation to this channel I received your donation I'm grateful and I appreciate you for that and like I mentioned in prior videos there's people that just don't want to be acknowledged so you know who you are I appreciate it and I thank you I was on Facebook yesterday and a woman posted a black woman posted a status and she was upset she was upset because uh, this guy that tried to talk to her had asked her what gender was she and she was upset and she posted it and you know people gave their own opinions and they were laughing they made a joke of it they made light of it but then I commented and said you can't get mad because the way things are today is better to be safe than to be sorry so if anyone asks you what gender are you regardless if you are a man or a woman don't take don't take that personal because we're living in very peerless dangerous deceptive times we're living in times where in many cases it's hard to tell the difference between a male or a female now with that being said I was told of this woman that I least ex I, I really least expected this woman to have a stroke she not only had a stroke but she had uh, she had other illnesses going on with her uh, which I'm not going to talk about it but she had other medical problems that were going on with her um, there's quite a few women that have cancer breast cancer um, ovarian cancer different types of cancer now these cancers can be brought on by many ways things that you eat um, things that you put on your skin your hair uh, just there's various reasons on how you can get cancer now back in time when I was growing up of course there were women that had cancer but not that much we really didn't hear about it too often now some people may say social media is what make people more aware you know we hear more about it now because of social media um, maybe that is to an extent but I really don't agree with that um, I think back in time women were women women were more natural um, they didn't put all those chemicals on their hair like they do today okay um, they didn't put other people or dead people's hair on their head like they do today and a lot of the weave and wigs that black females wear on their heads could also be considered a cancer causing agent now I can't prove that scientifically or medically these are just my thoughts and my opinions okay but you really don't know what's in those weaves and those wigs that's coming from these manufacturers okay so there's a lot of reasons on why you know women um, are getting cancer now 
heart disease, strokes, high blood pressure, diabetes. These are all types of diseases or curses that were that men um, at one time had gotten women. Women outlived men. That's why you find today there's more women than men, um, mainly because of the different lifestyles. Like when I was growing up, women didn't go to war. But now that women have become like men, and that takes my mind back to the Bible. When the question was said, or the statement was made, they have become like us knowing good and evil. Well, women in these modern times have become like men. Um, you see more women bodybuilders just snatching weight. Um, she wasn't designed to snatch weight, not saying that she's not able to do it, but your body is developed and made different than man. So when you're out there snatching that weight or when you're out there abusing your body with rigorous training, be it military or for athletic purposes, you're shortening the span of your life. Women drink like men, do drugs at the same rate that men do. Uh, smoke cigarettes at the same rate that men do stress more so that men do because you have women that is out there just having illicit sex you know where at one time women uh, were more controlled when it comes to who she slept with she was very selective on who she slept with so now you have women that that's that's somewhat penis envy and that want to be able to do the things that men do are now out there having sex with just about any and everybody okay abusing their body so now you find more women have sexually transmitted diseases of course you can easily blame that on a man but we're living in a time where women are sleeping with women okay so because of the fact that women have become like men women have taken on the curses of man now I made a video which I'm gonna post in the description box on the bottom it was a video that I made in the past on my fearless 2005 channel and it was talking about um, black women or women receiving the curses of men okay uh, and it's right within the same line because of the fact that women have become like men they take on the stresses of men uh, for various reasons you 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 your life now is cut a lot short and women are now suffering in ways that women did not suffer in the past and this is all as a result of the curses that men have always taken on so now women are taking on those same curses because women are now stressing more again they're abusing their bodies more um, uh, they, they're taking all of these foreign chemicals into their bodies to change their bodies to be able to compete and do what men do well the message that I have for women today primarily black women is that your femininity will deliver you it is your femininity that will save you now I know that there are some black females that won't like this message because they like where they are although they are sacrificing themselves you know you there are more women now that's losing their lives their lives are cut short and they're leaving their children motherless there was a song an old slave song about regarding the motherless child so now we have so many motherless children in the black community because of their lifestyles it's all a part of the curse 
Now, the Most High always set immutable, unchangeable laws in the universe. And those laws will act either in favor of you or against you. So when you start changing the way God had created you to be, then the law that was set up, that unchangeable law, now begins to start acting in opposition against you. Because you have become unnatural. Just about everything about you now is unnatural. We find that there are so many violent and aggressive black females out there. And I know I'm fully aware that white women do it too. I'm aware that every now and then you may see an Asian woman that's violent and aggressive. But when it comes to the black woman, there are videos that they are posting themselves. So just because I speak on it don't mean that I'm spewing hatred towards you. I'm only showing you what you show the world. So when you're out there brawling and fighting like a man, then and you're taking blows to your head, you're being kicked like a man. It's like there's no respect for women today in the black community. Black women are not treated like women. They're not treated like women from their men. They're not treated like women from another woman that claims to protect women. And you are not being treated as a woman by other races. Because there's situations like with Sandra Bland that had lost her life. That cop did not treat her like she was a woman. He treated her like she was a man because that's what many black females are fighting for. Equal rights to be like a man. And not to mention the number of lives that were taken when you aborted your unborn fetuses. These are all curses that you are bringing upon yourself. So when you see the lives of women, primarily black women, cut short, and they not only just get sick and die, but they suffer in the midst of that, it's because of the fact that you've left your femininity. Your femininity is what protected you because you were chaste. You were humble. Whenever you step out the house, you had respect for yourself. You conducted yourself as a lady. But now you work hard to conduct yourself as a man. So guess what? You take on the curses of men. See, everything that glitters is not gold. Men may look like they're in authority. They may look strong. We may have the capacity to stand up and pee. And we can rule with our penises, control women with our penises. So now you want to impersonate that. You're envious of that. So now you're going through every effort to change who you are just to compete with a man. That is not your nature. And when you work outside of nature, you destroy yourself. You start to die. So when you lose your femininity, when you, you lose your gift of being a woman, that special gift of being a woman, that nurturer, then you, you, you actually lose the will to live and to even exist. And because of the fact that you go against nature, your life on this earth is cut short. Your children are left to be motherless. Now I'm going to put a link to that video on the bottom that I made a great while ago 
regarding black women taking on the curses of men. You can't blame anyone but yourself. And another element of that curse is the fact that you refuse to accept the responsibilities of your choices and your actions. You choose to blame everyone for what you need to take responsibility for. And because of the fact that you fail to repent, you refuse to repent, then you are calling on the forces of destruction for yourself. When you see situations where a whole uh, family of women is wiped out with cancer or high blood pressure or strokes, women are having strokes. That don't even sound right to me. But you find more women are stroking out because of the level of stress, bad eating, no exercise, you know, and all these other things that brought about your own demise, choices that you made instead of humbling yourself under the mighty hand of Yah and allowing him to exalt you in due time, you choose to exalt yourself and destroy yourself in the process. So I'm gonna cut this video short. Maybe I'll make another video and uh, comment on it, a real video where you can actually see me speak. Uh, feel free, check out the link I placed on the bottom. Find it you support this channel. Subscribe, until next time. I'm fearless.